this is Story Your Librarian, and welcome to the December edition of Storytime, my book talks for December. This is Cosmic. Hi. He's going to help me today with my book talks. The first book I want to tell you about is called A Song Below Water by Bethany Morrow, and this is about um, two girls who are sisters. They live in Portland, Oregon. And this is a modern fantasy, so there are characters in the story that are supernatural creatures. One of the characters is a siren, and I love how the author compares the prejudice against sirens to racial prejudice. It's a very effective parallel in the story. And her sister is also a supernatural creature, but she doesn't know what she is yet. You do find out at the end, and what else? Um, oh yeah, I think that the way the story is told um, with the drama and also comedic relief kind of reminds me of the TV show The Good Place. So if you like that TV show, you might really enjoy this book. This is a science fiction book. It's not very recent but I was reminded of it recently, so I thought I would tell you about it. It's called Satellite by Nick Lake. It's based on the premise of what if someone was born in outer space? Um, how would that affect their, their growth and their development and their cognition, their psychology, etc.? So the main character was born in outer space and he's preparing to visit Earth for the very first time. And in the spaceship with him are two, uh, a brother and sister, they're twins, and they are a similar age to him. They weren't born in outer space. Anyways, all three of them are preparing to go to Earth, and for him it will be the first time that he's been there. It's, um, it's really effective. Also, the author doesn't use punctuation maybe because it's from the point of view of the person who's born in outer space and maybe you don't need punctuation <laughs> in outer space. Frankly in Love is a romantic comedy by David Yoon. The main character goes by uh, the name Frank. His Korean name he doesn't use at school. His last name is Lee L-E and the a uh, girl he's dating when the story starts out calls him frankly as one word as an affectation and so basically he can't tell his parents about the girl he's dating because he know that they he knows that they wouldn't approve so he decides to date a girl that he knows they would approve of and he and this girl who's also dating someone her parents wouldn't approve of they decide to secretly date each other but keep it a secret so that when the four of them meet up, they can basically switch and be with their real boyfriend-girlfriend. And of course that doesn't go the way it's supposed to. Another cool thing about this book is that the author is the husband of Nicola Yoon, who wrote Everything Everything and The Sun is Also a Star. This is um, a book called The Black Kids by Christina Hammonds reed and it takes place in Los Angeles in the 1990s and the main character goes to this elite private school and then when the verdict comes out about the the police officers who beat up Rodney King there is a uh, chaos breaks loose in Los Angeles and it's about how it affects her and her identity and I love how the um, the idea of racial inequality and injustice is woven into her uh, coming of age and what she learns about herself and her family. This is a psychological thriller called The Double by Jose Saramago. He's a Portuguese writer. It uh, takes place well you don't know the time period or the location because it's just very Spartan the way it's described the main character is in the store and he sees his exact twin the twin 
looks at him and realizes, oh, you have a better life than me or I'm jealous of your life, so I'm going to kidnap you. So it's like a psychological thriller. The Double by Jose Saramago. Uh, Never Look Back is by Lilium Rivera. This is the genre of magical realism. I love this genre. So the setting is basically the Bronx and it's summertime and the main character is um, Yuri and she's visiting her relatives in the Bronx and she falls for Fias who lives there. And it's basically a modern telling of the myth Orpheus and Eurydice. I hope I said that right. If not, I apologize. Um, so if you like Rick Riordan type stuff, I think you would love this because it goes into like a modern fantasy twist, topsy-turvy, alternate reality. And I thought it was really well done. Really. Thank you for watching the December edition of Storytime. And if you want any of these books, just fill out the book request form on the EHS Library website, or you can just email me at k-a-s-t-o-r-y at l-w-s-d dot o-r-g.